Hello guys, please keep in mind that these are my opinions and my thoughts. If you disagree with them, you're entitled to it. Uh, please don't be mean to people in the comments, okay? I say this because apparently I have to. <laughs> and I, I thought everybody knew, but apparently for legal reasons I have to. Anyways, let's get started. I'll try to make this not a long video. I, I was wondering how Meghan Markle ended up in the royal family, right? Because there has to be, the environment has to be appropriate, propitious for her to be able to enter that family and to get as far as she got. So many things must have happened to lead to that point, right? Nothing happens in a vacuum. Now, let me start this. I will get to that, but let me start by this. Um, in the royal family, there's been a tradition of rewarding bad behavior. Uh, why do I say that? Because instead of holding people accountable, they reward it. They quietly transfer them to some place or they give them other stuff to do, but they never hold them accountable. For example, <clears throat> let's do a little bit of history. In, in doing this video, I came across Andrew Lowney. This is, I, I'll leave the link and start from minute 32 because it's a long thing. If you want to watch it, the whole thing, watch it because it's actually quite interesting. And he has another video as well. But um, in, from minute 32, he's talking about, many of you might not know uh, Dickie Mountbatten. He was Lord Mountbatten. He was Charles, probably still is Prince Charles' um, mentor, somebody that uh, he loves and looks up to. I found out that <laughs> this guy was not the greatest naval thing as they try him out, make him out to be. That is actually a fallacy. That's a lie. He disobeyed many direct orders. He, out of uh, one of those direct orders, actually had dire consequences. He was ordered to go rescue some soldiers in Norway. And instead, he disobeyed that order and let them stand there. And the Germans captured them and kept them prisoner for four years. Some of them died. Uh, when he got back to the UK, the Navy wanted to court-martial him and probably put him in jail. But because of his royal connections, he was quietly transferred to a position of prestige, of course. But nothing happened to him. When he sank the ship, nothing happened to him. He just gets transferred or rewarded. I mean, there's no consequences. And he's not the only one. The same thing has happened with Prince Andrew, with Charles, with the Duchess of York. You know, uh, when she was caught on camera committing a crime because what she was doing, trafficking the connections to the royal family for 500,000 pounds per pop, it's unlawful. She should have been put in jail. Now, I'm pretty sure that if people were to find out more stuff, Prince Andrew would end up in jail. Not because, I don't think pedophilia, but mostly because of shady business deals. So when we go to Harry, Harry, people have known about his racism. But Buckingham Palace, what they do is they clean up their image. It, there's a lot more silence around them. You know, instead of saying, hey, Harry, you can't do this. Oh, let's give him Invictus. Maybe then if we give him more, he'll come down. It's like giving a child who's throwing a tantrum. Oh, no, please, no. Can we give you more? Can we give you more? Okay, that's the mistake that's happened. Now, Harry and Meghan have the ability to persuade themselves that what is convenient is true. What do I mean by that? For example, if it is convenient for Harry to say, because of racism, Meghan Markle and I are not the next in line to the throne, or we don't have the same privileges, he will use that, whether it's factual or not. He, I believe that Harry is a resentful prick who wanted to have his brother's position. And he thought that when marrying um, Meghan Markle, he would be more important. But that's not the way it is in any institution, organization, even in your home, you know, let, let, let's, let's all be honest. <laughs> you know, who is the boss at the house? You have ranks. In my household, it's me, unless my mom is here. Because <laughs> when my mom is here, obviously she's the boss. But, but you know what I mean? I mean, 
And, and yeah, you know, the buck stops somewhere, even in an organization, even with Oprah, for example. A director doesn't have the same, uh, uh, you know, uh, an assistant manager does not have the same rights and responsibilities as the manager. The manager doesn't have the same respons- uh, rights, uh, privileges as a director, but he doesn't have the same, resp- uh, he, he doesn't, he doesn't have the same, uh, he doesn't enjoy the privileges. This is why you have job titles, job descriptions in every institution in the world, organization. Yeah, you have ranks. Prince Harry's rank was to be spare. He was no longer relevant, but they want to, they want to choose they want to persuade themselves that that is uh, true in order for them to live with themselves and, un- and not understand that, you know, to justify their behavior. Oh, there must have been racist, so we're going to do this and that. And their royal family capitulated, which is the worst thing that they could have done. You know what? I know that I've criticized a lot the royal family because I love, I love the monarchy. And I want them to be respectable. I really do. But they don't have to be afraid of Meghan Markle. People say that they're afraid. No, they don't have anything to be afraid of. But what it is is that they have been allowing this behavior. Instead of saying no, they escalated it. I can guarantee you that the royal family knew that they were never going to stay in the UK. They they must have known Meghan Markle's plans. And instead of saying, you know what? Because the queen had that option to say, Harry, I will give you my, you see, Harry needed her permission to say for him to be married to to Meghan Markle and stay in the line of succession. Because if he hadn't gotten that permission, then he would have been kicked out of the line of succession. And what did he do? He said, if you don't give me permission, I will accuse you of racism. He knew that wasn't true. He knew that was slander. But he used it anyways, because the only thing that was in Meghan Markle's favor was the fact that she, her mother was black. Because her character-wise, she's not good. So yeah, Harry and Meghan Markle have this, this ability to persuade themselves that what is convenient for their purposes is true, whether factual or not. And they use the prestige and credibility of the royal family and their titles to present this to their platforms, which is why, one of the many reasons why the titles must go. Because uh, having those titles gives them credibility to the lies and slander that he spews. That's an abusive position. Another person would go to jail. Also, what's very crucial is that by keeping Harry in the line of succession and, and with the royal titles, there's constitutional consequences. He is still counselor of the state. Google that, people, please. Uh, counselor of the state. He is, um, yeah, he can be a regent if anything were to happen to the queen or even, you know, Prince Charles. So he has to be, there are lawful consequences to this. So this is a guy who has abandoned his country. And I go back to why Meghan Markle is there. And why she has been allowed to get that far. Many people are saying, well, there were others who were worse. Actually, it's true. But back then, when the, you know, like when the World War II, this is, the buck has to stop someplace. I mean, how bad does the behavior and their actions have to get for, to have consequences? These people who, that many are going on online talking about, Oh, they did worse than Harry, for example, Prince Andrew. Yeah, but they got caught. It's not a behavior nor wrongdoings that they were flaunting on people's faces like Harry and Meghan Markle. And this is why I say that things have progressed so much that abuse and wrongdoings are no longer, they don't even have the pretense of covering it up. They try, they do it on your face because they are entitled. They feel entitled to behave in, in, in that way, to abuse a position, to commit crimes and get away with it. And in my opinion, this is why they have to be stopped now. This is a man who left his country willingly to go abroad, who doesn't want the responsibilities of a position which has constitutional repercussions. Who, have sl- who has slandered, because Harry has slandered. Meghan, 
with a Z-lister, you know. And you know how I say that you, you, man has this ability, the best liars are the ones that believe their own lies. She's going to go on Oprah. She's going to say, oh, you know, I went in there and, and, and into the royal family and I was not as important as Catherine the Duchess. And it's because of skin color. No, 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 no. It's because there's a pecking order everywhere in life. I can guarantee you that Oprah has privileges that people below her don't have. And she'll be damned if she lets him, you know, try to have the same privileges as she does. She's going to tell you, wait a minute, you, you better know your place. So in that regards, people, you don't have to, you know, don't worry. The royal family has known about Oprah. This is total bullcrap when they say that the Oprah Winfrey thing blindsided them. That's not true. They've known this for a long time. They have. You know, it's just that the way they're making it sound is because they're actually going to go ahead with it. You know, maybe the timing they didn't know. They had hoped that it would be done after March 31st. Now, Harry and Meghan have known for a long time that they're losing the, the, their responsibilities. The responsibilities of the patronages and their roles were actually a nuisance to them. They didn't want them because they were those things tied them to England. They had, It was like a responsibility, sorry, that they had to to have and they didn't want it because all they want is the titles why because the titles is what lends them i repeat myself credibility to their lies you know and that's affecting the brand if you want to call it their reputation which is i think it i can't remember warren buffett i think buffett i think it was the one who said you spend your whole life building your reputation and it takes one second to destroy it so by the royal family allowing Harry and Meghan to continue with their royal titles and allow and, and them spewing lies and slander, it affects their credibility and their reputation of the royal family and the monarchy, which is a government institution. It is the brand. It is not a brand, sorry. It is the branch of the government. Public service. Why do you think the queen does stuff, you know, that sometimes it's not you know, um, how do you say, um, glamorous or fun? No, because it's part of the public service. That is the meaning of public service. So if you have two liars with the job titles, with titles and senior titles going around the world, using a worldwide platform to lie, to denounce and to slander the reputation of the actual institution and the institution does not react, or take steps to stop that, then people will come to the conclusion that they are right. And nobody will want to do business. Nobody will respect that institution or trust it. So this is why Meghan Markle happened, in my opinion, going back to that. Because the environment was created. You know that Dickie, um, Dickie Mountbatten guy? Not only did he disobey orders, he was not court-martialed, and instead he was promoted. Prince Charles just took step steps to um, to have the record seal, which show that he was a pedophile. Yeah, he has, he has had the record seal right now because there was this, I, I think I mentioned him before, I don't know, Andrew Lowney. I, again, I'll repeat, I'll leave the link at the bottom. Um, start from minute 32 when he talks about how children were procured for Lord Mountbatten as young as 11, you know? So, and he never got punished. Instead, he was promoted. Now he's revered by Prince Charles. I think they even, he's gonna, I don't know if he has a statue or something like that. But again, as soon as Prince Charles found out that there was a book about this, he ordered, he requested that the FBI destroyed the archives or the files that they had on Lord Mountbatten, and he just ordered the, the record sealed for another 50 years. So this has been their answer. The royal, current royal family has created an environment of permissiveness for wrongdoings and, and without any consequences that you have Meghan Markle. You end up with the bottom of the bottom, Z-list. It's like Meghan Markle blaming everybody for being a failed actress. Oh, I'm not white enough. I'm not black enough. No, you're not talented enough, honey. That's it. Talent prevails. God knows you have actors and actresses of all skin colors. 
you know, racist. <laughs> and you don't have any problem. The royal family was not racist. The royal family was not sexist. There's a pecking order everywhere in life. In my house, I am the boss. Again, unless my mom is here. So then she's the boss, <laughs> you know. But you know, you know what I mean? And we all have privileges in life. The job title gives you a position, responsibilities, and privileges. What do you think? Let me know anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs>